kind of staying in the Twitch sphere just a little bit more, I believe I did talk about... No, this was on Saturday, so I, there's no way I could have. Um, okay, so this was on stage at TwitchCon. Uh, four Arab Twitch streamers, uh, Twitch affiliates, decided to get on stage in front of a huge run of uh, advertisers and play a fun little game. The next person is one of my favorite people, Ethan Klein. <laughs> I told you guys to clap. <laughs> This is a good reaction. That was a good one. <laughs> That's good. All right. T turn that up. Turn the giraffe. We turn all know up. where this is going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm giving audience in, but they're like, you know, fuck what you guys had to say. <laughs> so this is the official TwitchCon. And if you're only listening, let me set the stage for you. Five young Arab streamers, some behajabed, some thought it up. Uh, two of them are men sit on a black couch in front of a live audience. Behind them, you can see the banner, sponsored by Chevron, Capcom, Samsung, and then it says TwitchCon, proudly letting you know that this is a tw official Twitch event. This was set up by a fucking Amazon company. Then you have five people sitting there next to a tier list. They have cutouts of streamers' faces, and they're going to rate them. On green, they are Arab. On blue, the second tier, they are Arab coded. On yellow, the third tier, <clears throat> it says ask, ask perms. Um, four thinks it's a slur, and this is orange. I'm not actually sure what this is referring to, but then five, and this is the con controversial one, it says loves Sabra. Now, allow me to Israeli explain to everybody. Uh, Sabra is a Hebrew word, which means a Jewish person born in Israel. And it first came about during the uh, Zionist movement where uh, European Jews were expatriating to Israel for the first time. Um, and the Jews that were born in Israel were then called the Sabra, uh, named so after a prickly cactus, uh, I believe a fruit even, that grows on the cactus in Israel. <clears throat> However, it is also the name of a bunch of stuff. And it happens to be the name of a hummus that is apparently a very low-quality hummus that no Egyptian or Palestinian would ever be caught dead eating. Only the Jews eat shitty Sabra brand hummus. Uh, that is what the woman in the hijab uh, said in defense of this tier list. Ethan Klein comes out and says that it was an anti-Semitic attack on Jews because of the word Sabra. Uh, which led to the explanation that I just explained regarding um, the name. It was also the name of a, a, a Jewish woman who is also a Twitch streamer. So it, it kind of, if you're only familiar with Twitch, not the intricacies of Hamas or Jewish Israelis, it would just sound like the name of a, a female Jewish Twitch streamer. And the lowest tier you could possibly be is you like this woman on Twitch. So a lot of people got it twisted, assuming in good faith that what she's saying about the hummus is even true. A lot of people got it twisted and said that this is a an attack on Israeli Jews because of the, the Palestine thing. Um, and then, is that Hassan on the edge? <laughs> where's the, where's the... No, it's not. I don't think so. It just looks, they all look the same to me. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and then immediately after this... Uh, the our Destiny people notice because Destiny is is like gay opping. His fans are like actively trying to contact Twitch advertisers, and anytime Hassan talks to like a Houthi terrorist or whatever, they report. Because I think the Houthis are like a U.S. Department of State sanctioned entity, where it's like if you do any commerce with them, you're technically financing terrorism, and that's like a big fucking deal. So when the Houthis are showing up on Hassan Piker's stream to talk about their jihad against uh, the Zionists, uh, Destiny's people are like, we should gay up that shit and report them to all their advertisers. Which, I'm going to be real, I don't support that. <laughs> I think deplatforming is always fucking gay. I think financial censorship is always fucking gay. Um, but they also noticed while they were doing this that... Um, consumers from Israel trying to register to Twitch 
from a uh, Israeli ISP were getting a message that explicitly said blocked country IP. So when you are an ISP and you register with the IANA and your regional registry uh, to get an IP allocation, your business details go into it and you also have to pick a country for it. So it seems like Twitch was blocking any country trying to uh, that was tied to IL as their country code. I could not independently verify this. Just letting you know, I tried, but um, because of all my, uh, v I was using VPNs, I was getting blocked for being a VPN. And none of the Israeli VPNs that I had access to uh, allowed me to register to pass the VPN block. So I couldn't independently confirm it. But multiple people in the Destiny subreddit from Israel said that they tried and, and they got this error. So it does seem to be real. Um, so I, I actually tweeted this out, and then <laughs> the next morning, um, all of these people on this couch are banned. Uh, and it says, what's his name? Uh, Capri Sun was the guy, was banned. Frogan 2 was banned. Denims was banned. And uh, v Vio was also banned. So... Twitch cleaned the fucking house. Twitch uses the word banned interchangeably with suspended. So it's unknown if there are permanent bans, but it's very likely that this is just a temporary suspension for a week or two, as they do. Um, but this guy, XOXO, Joshy P girl, uh, flipped the fuck out. Twitch has no backbone. Ethan Klein is a serial harasser. Dan Clancy is a pussy. Everyone that pushed for this is basement dwelling, no life scum. Uh, Spaghetti had said, so it's Ethan's fault they broke TOS. Adam says, I can hear you pissing and shitting yourself through the screen. Take care, antidepressants, kid. Uh, Weston says, oh, crying faces. There's the little anti-Semite crying faces. And then Pumpkin at dot boy greedy says, get fucked. I'm assuming these are all Destiny people. Isaiah Den N-word, D-N-word, <laughs> says, lol, retards are mad when they get held to the same standards they went for others. God hates beavers. That's rude. Says, finally, some good news. Splenda says, cope. Jace Albert says, terrorist supporters, BTFO. Um, XOXO says, I'm ending all my subs and will not be supporting, and will be supporting streamers elsewhere. Fuck you, Twitch. And then at Twitch support, pathetic. Uh, at Twitch, I will not be spending any more money on your pussy ass website. And then there's a bunch of Twitch cancellation emails. And he says, if I see Dan Clancy at a single fucking streamer event, I swear to God. And then Katie says, if he goes to streamer awards, I'm going to fight. And then XO says, no, exactly. I think Dan Clancy is the one of the top guys at Twitch. So he's saying, Dan Clancy, motherfucker, I'm coming for you. I'm going to show you what P uh, the religion of peace fucking does when you ban our streamers. <laughs> uh, uh, really proving their point. So, Safa. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.